was that important to you to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? It was a proud moment for us, and especially being chicks from Seattle. When Chris Cornell of Seattle inducted us, it was incredibly, insanely beautiful how he did it. It was like, I could, I cried just thinking about it, just trying to think about it, trying not to think about it. Yeah. What a fabulous talent. You talk about Chris Cornell. did my show yeah. many, many times. Didn't you think of Black Hole Sun during the eclipse the other day? Yeah. In fact, yeah. Uh, I was reading like radio stations were trying to play, you know, something relevant during the eclipse. And a, yeah. lot, a lot of them nailed it with uh, Black Hole Sun. Black Hole Sun. He came to a Halloween party at my house one time. Yeah. I used to have him on a theme. And this year's theme was Come as a Song. Mm. And he came in this gigantic gold paper lame full body suit with his face blacked out. Wow. And it was really cool. He was Black Hole Sun. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He came wow. as I mean, Black Hole Sun. <laughs> I'm glad I've never been invited to a party at your house. That's too much of an assignment. I'd be like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those weird. Halloween parties. Oh, my God. I mean, you've seen a lot of the sadness and, you know. Yeah, uh, Seattle, especially in those years, was a pretty dark place. I mean, people were just falling left and right. Did you know Kurt Cobain at all from that period of time? He came through the house a couple times. He was no a real, yeah. real quiet, little little shrimpy kid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At first. At you first. Know. It must have been shocking to you when these guys got that big, right? He's like, oh, yeah. I know him. It was cool because, you know, it was right after the 80s. So the whole 80s thing was finally kind of burned out. The whole right. bombast of all of that stuff. And we were back to real guitar playing again and the songs yeah. like, you know, Smells Like Teen Spirit and all the Pearl Jam greatness. You saw them play when they were Mookie Blaylock. I saw them before they were even Mookie Blaylock with Eddie Vedder. I saw them right. when they were... Um, with Andy Woods. With Andy Woods yeah. when they were Mother Love Bone at another right. tavern. And Andy Andrew Woods took a big swig from a pitcher of beer on stage. And I was up front, you know, like, wow, this is so cool. And he spit it all over the crowd. <laughs> and so he spit beer on me. It was oh, so cool. Wow. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Wow. <laughs>